when I'm, but I'm going to talk about my wife and I'm going to talk about one of her strengths because she's extremely good at this. I am not. Okay. <laughs> okay. So when my wife, when my wife uh, she worked at Sears and Lowe's for 25 years or so as a salesperson. And there were constantly people coming into church because uh, she's very bold with a customer. You go to church somewhere, you know, you got to try ours. Um, uh, person's having a trouble well, have, you, have you talked to god about it you know she's she is very very upfront wow. on that kind of a thing but now that she's retired uh she, <laughs> she has basically baked bread for everybody within range along shadrick ferry <laughs> constantly makes apple butter and the delivery drivers um if she catches them they always get a small jar of apple butter in return for the delivery and uh, it's, some of them are bringing back the jars and asking for larger ones. A refill. Um, but it's, uh, uh, sh she is constantly finding a way to uh, love on the delivery guys and the neighbors. And, uh, and she does that basically with uh, bread and homemade apple butter. And uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, I we have I love we have that. we have actually delivery one delivery guy talked. I mean, I think he had relatives in the church, and he was telling his parents about this guy, this this lady out at Chatter <laughs> was doing that kind of stuff, and it's it was it was Julian, but it's it's, it's sweetness. Yeah, but what I'm saying though, Doc, is I'm not doing those things, <laughs> but well, I I wish I could. <laughs> well, neither do I. Well, it's all different. Everyone finds their own niche. The fact is. What you are doing here is a niche, okay? Not all of us can do the same thing, but all of us can do something. You find some place where you make your contribution to the kingdom. Everybody's been gifted in that kind of a fashion. Uh, right now, that's what Julie is doing. That's not the way she used to do it. It's the way she's doing it now. Um, you should not feel guilty that you're not doing it her way. Um, what you should try to figure out is... Uh, Am I finding a niche where I can make a contribution to the kingdom? Um, we all tend to denigrate ourselves when we compare ourselves to someone else, um, which is ludicrous. Um, the very fact that you've got this thing going on, God smiles. Mm, thank you for that reminder. And, 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 and yeah. Steve Brown, one time he wrote this book. I can't remember its name. Um, but he said, uh, don't, don't forget that every single one of us is an underachiever in the kingdom and God is proud of us anyway. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so I love these practical examples of ways that we can boldly live our faith mm -hmm. as God intended in our giftings and, you know, in our own special way. And a lot of what we deal with on the podcast is our thoughts. And sometimes our thoughts can play interference with our behavior. Well, a lot of times it, it does. And so I'm thinking about a listener who still maybe just isn't convinced. Maybe there's someone who doesn't share her faith at all verbally say beside maybe her kids or her family they know she's a christian she goes to church and all of those things and she serves her family but maybe she doesn't feel like she's quote winning people to christ and maybe she's afraid maybe she doesn't have the boldness that julie has even on the job julie had boldness and that's just a beautiful thing. But some people might say, I couldn't dare do that. So what? It, how would you advise someone who, who doesn't really, other than demonstrating love, loving deeds, they don't really verbalize it? Is there a place where we should all be verbalizing our faith to other people? When that door opens. Mm. Yeah. You don't force that door open, but when that door opens, yes. I mean, there is a time when uh, you pray for the opportunity. You pray that God will give you the eyes to see the opportunity. You pray that if that opportunity is seen, that God will guide you so that you'll say something or do something that's going to be useful. And you do not take upon your shoulders the responsibility of persuading the person. 
Um, we have a lot of folks who just get so convicted because they tried and failed. Um, God doesn't promise any success. He wants us to try to be faithful. The, uh, but I wouldn't worry about, you know, trying to force um, that opening. Um, we are, we look for people in times when we can stand alongside and we offer to stand alongside. If they reject it, well, they rejected Jesus more often than they accepted him too. Hmm. And we don't worry about it. Um, it's, we speak truth and grace. And uh, just cannot get too obsessed with our failures. Mm 